find out that the boyfriend that you've been dating for a very long time now and that you love him so much you find out that he's suffering from a deadly disease called esophagus what are you going to do about that well i won't just say baby please go i'm no longer interested i will encourage him tell him to go for medical checkup at least by then he will get treated and will continue our relationship Okay, so you don't mind if you contact it or something else, so you can just go in with a relationship like that? Yeah, but we still apply some pre-measures, precautions, like not just doing raw like that, I mean, you apply caution, doing raw like that, I mean, you apply caution. Firstly, I will find out if the disease has a core, but if it doesn't, I don't think I can continue with the relationship. So if the disease doesn't have a cure, that's it. Yes, because I can't continue so that it doesn't affect me too. So if you find out that your boyfriend that you've been dating for a very, very long time now and then you love him so much, you find out that he's contacted this deadly disease called the self So what are you going to do about that? Normally in life we don't have let me say a photocopy. So once I found out that say uh, let me say he has this disease or something, like that, I will leave him and continue with my life because staying with him is going to be very deadly for me. Maybe it might cut my lifespan short. Tsunami. Can you spell the word tsunami? I'm not even hearing you say. Tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Coco. Don't worry. You can do it. Just tsunami. The way you're hearing it, just pronounce Tsunami. S O N A M I C. Simple. What's there? <laughs> I don't know, it's really going to be a very tough one. But I think I will I will still have to stay with him, you know, because I won't because of that forget everything about him. I'll still have to stay with him and then we'll look for medical, you know, medical way out, you know. Yeah, I think that is what every girl out there should do. Sorry, first of all, you said the disease is what? A sophigos. Wow. That's very, very, that kind of question is very, very, very hard to, to say. But nevertheless, when I find out that my man has a deadly disease, the least I can do, even if I don't end up with him, I might as well stay, encourage him. That's the least I can do for him. Asafagos <laughs> is not a deadly disease. Is that what you think? Yeah. It's part of the human body. Osophagus. Yes. A deadly disease called yeah, osophagus. Yeah, yeah. My wife should have that now. Ah, I think it's part of human body. So you think osophagus is a part of human body and not a deadly disease? No, it's not a disease. I have an osophagus. Can you spell the word tsunami? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I can say S O N E A M O I A. Tsunami. Yes, tsunami. 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 I don't think I have any idea about that. Really? But you can try something now. No, 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 no. I don't have any idea. Tsunami. I don't even know the meaning. I don't have any idea of it. Tsunami. S U N A M I. Tsunami should be X U N A M O I C. Wow. Tsunami. Sweetheart, I don't know how to spare. No, 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 you're not going to tell me that. You can't tell me that. You, you can try something. Just spell it the way you're, it's been heard or the pronunciation. Tsunami. Tsunami. Oh. S. U. M. S. U. M. S. U. L. S. Um. Wait. Yeah, I can spell it. T S. U N A M I. Tsunami. Huh. T X U N A M I. Tsunami. Um, when you talk about breeze, you talk you're talking about a kind of um, let me say, kind of soft air. When we're talking about wind, it comes with full force. Yeah, it comes. With Okay. okay, the difference between wind and breeze is that wind is very strong compared to breeze. Breeze is just a light, just let me put it, a light, um, light frame of air. 
why wind requires strong um let me just say wind is just a strong breeze that can spoil and destroy things why breeze comes with just soft waves okay. the difference between breeze and wind well wind comes with a force yeah. it has this um force of attraction it comes with a force and it can destroy something okay uh -huh. but breeze is just just like it comes very calm and it's just like a natural something i don't know how to differentiate it <laughs> Wind and breeze. Yes, wind and breeze. Breeze. Breeze is an air you take in. Yeah. Like the breeze is <laughs> breeze is the is the death. Is is the air more or less an air that comes with death. Um, breeze is just a li um, is light, but wind is stronger than breeze. Really? Yeah, I think so. Okay, a wind. A wind is always heavier than a breeze, and um, you find out that winds are always destructive in nature, but a breeze is always calm.